Okay, so I was playing around with uh, some of the new uh, features in Google Analytics this morning, and I came across something that I wanted to share with you folks. Um, there's a lot of new features, but I'm just going to share one real quick with you here. Um, I've already opened up Google Analytics to traffic sources, uh, logged into the account, uh, go to traffic sources, and then pages under social. So traffic sources, social, pages. And I've already put in a date range where I know something has occurred. Now I'm using my own personal blog on this, uh, kevinmullet.com, which I don't blog on nearly as often as I should, but that's another story. So what we see here is, is if you just click on pages, you, you see some information like, okay, here's a popular post for that time period. Uh, was this uh, asked for your Facebook password? The answer is no. We can see how many visits and how many page views that that uh, brought in. But what is kind of hidden here that most people may not recognize if they just opened it up by itself is that if I click on this, it is going to bring up a, a new screen and this is the uh, social data hub uh, screen. And you see that it still hasn't changed very much except for that it's telling us what our social uh, data hub partners have provided as far as uh, traffic coming in. So Google Plus is one of the social data hub partners and we received uh, 20 visits from that. You can see Delicious is one of them, uh, Dig. And so if I clicked on this, it would actually take me just to stats about that particular visit. But that's not even all that this does. What I can do is, is I can go in here and I can click on Activity uh, stream and now if we look down here oh man look at all of this data that we get that comes in from Google Plus and actually tells us who we were interacting with during that date range that we had um, and that relates to this uh, this specific URL that we were talking about so you can see people having conversation about it but wait there's more if we click on events we actually can see who has shared other parts of it through, again, the social uh, data partners that we were talking about, social hub partners that we were talking about. So I can see here that Stan Follis is somebody that I know and, and follow in various channels. He uh, found the article useful enough to uh, bookmark on Delicious. Uh, K.P. Bergman, uh, another person, uh, actually a co-worker, uh, bookmarked it as well. We can see that uh, a friend of mine, uh, Kembo, here actually uh, put it on Dig. And then e either he put it on Dig or found it on Dig and then voted it up. So again, this uh, really is very hidden in the system. And you may not know that it is there unless you went uh, crawling for it. So real quickly, again, I'll show you how I got to that. We load up an account go to traffic sources, go to social, click on pages. Remember, I've already set my date range for something that I know has activity. We come down here and you have to select one of the items that you're, uh, that you're looking at here. Once you do that, you can click on, the, you can see uh, some new data here, but you can also come in here and click on activity stream and then check your activity stream for both conversations and events. That's a quick tip on some of the new features that are added to Google Analytics. Uh, I have a feeling that some of this is part of the post rank uh, acquisition that Google Analytics did a while back. Uh, they uh, acquired a company called PostRank that gave a lot of good information like this. So hope that helps you out. Um, my name is Kevin Mullet. I'm with Cirrus ABS. We help people with solutions like figuring out where their marketing budget is going. Have a great day.